Hey guys, uh, pretty excited today. I uh, got something delivered from Dixie Gunworks and I'm gonna do an unboxing video of a Petersoli Scout Carbine Kit Flintlock 50 caliber. Um, and uh, gonna put it together over the winter. Hopefully we'll see winter sometime soon. It's been very mild here in, in Southern Ohio Temperatures been in the uh, 40s, 50s, no, not hardly any snow. I think we've only had like one fall of one falling day of snow. But anyway, let's go ahead and cut it open and see what we got here. Let's see what this thing looks like. There's a big plastic bag. Got some paperwork, shooting safety. Got a Petersoli uh, manual. And, oh my. <laughs> Looks like we might have a little bit of damage right here. I'll have to check into that. But, um, this kit seems to be put together. Um, <laughs> can't wait to get it out of the plastic. Let's see, we got a little box here. And whatever is in this blue box. Let's see what we have. Looks like we have a little bit more paper. And screws. Okay, so it's put together, but it's not screwed together. And I bet these are the instructions to do that. Which, that's exactly what it looks like. Yeah. Instructions to put it together. So I need to be very careful when I'm taking it out of this plastic bag. Uh, be back in a second. Well, look at this. This is so. It's it's pretty amazing, actually. I mean, it's it's practically finished. Uh, everything's inleted. The lock's attached, and they even gave me a flint with a piece of lead holding it into the cock. Um, and the. Everything's been drilled out, the, the barrel's been blued, everything looks good. Brass needs a little bit of work, um, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with this, uh, the way it looks. Uh, you could take you could take it out and shoot it right now if you wanted to. Um, but anyway guys, that's what you get. Uh, it's a tw about a 28 inch barrel, it's 50 caliber. You say, Terry, why'd you buy a gun like that? Why didn't you get something a little bit more traditional? Well, I'm going to use this gun in competition. And um, everything I shoot is going to be within, definitely within 200 yards and mostly within 100 yards. So it only weighs about six and a half pounds. It's a flintlock, 28 inch barrel. And uh, it's going to be real easy to aim, real easy to shoot. So anyway, I'll keep you updated as I make progress on this thing. But oh my gosh, it's there's almost no finishing needed. Everything's inletted very, very well. Um, I've never seen anything a kit gun that's so that's quite this well done. I mean, there, you can see right here. There's a little lip right there that's going to need to be come off. But, oh my goodness, um, that's about it. Great fit and finish for a kit. Oh my goodness, look at that. Now, I got, got some issues there with a little bit too much wood. Um, but that's okay, that'll come off. 
I big shout out to um, um, Mike Bellevue for showing uh, showing me how to do that sort of thing with his Lyman build. Um, big shout out too to uh, Black Powder Maniac Shooter who inspired me to get more involved in Black Powder. And then of course, I can never pronounce his name. It's the Hungarian gentleman from Cap and Ball, Bazils, um, another inspirational uh, Black Powder shooter, really knows his stuff. And uh, I enjoy watching all three of those gentlemen on their YouTube videos. That's it for now, guys. Um, I'll keep you updated as I make progress.